What do you think of BAFTs? What's going on guys, it's Shin from C0 Media here today We're in Jacksonville, Florida Checking out the Amelia Concourse event I'm a random guy he found on the street <laughs> like to be in the video please Yeah, of course, of course, no problem So of course, you guys know him Most of you guys know him at least Vehicle Versions, Parker We are over here Checking out some vintage cars, supercars, exotics And I would like to thank Pennzoil for sponsoring this video Yeah, the street parked. Wow. That is a proper race car and if anybody wants to buy it, it's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford it, Parker. No Pocket way. Pocket change. Wide body location. Look at those custom canards. Race car stuff. So there's a company called ER that makes a car called W70. It looks like a supercar, combination of LaFerrari and Enzo, but it's powered by LS7 engine, 600 horsepower. So we got 675 LT 488M LaFerrari. This is actually the first time I saw a LaFerrari and it looks gorgeous. This is all you, Rob. This is all me. Uber baller, forged wheels. You need to be Uber baller, Rob. I need to be Uber baller. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many Lamborghinis here. One here, one here, one here, <laughs> one here. Lambos everywhere. So over here is a V10 R8 with a big ass wing on the back. And over here is a 800 horsepower McCarnan 12C with an awesome exhaust out the back. I got the center exit exhaust. So this is the way of the Race cars, this is what I like. Race cars, love these. Senna lug nuts. Amazing, I love to drive one of these things. Best in class. Best in class. Race car. Race car. That's my favorite. <laughs> I don't know anything about this car, but it's so sweet. I love wagons. And this is by far the coolest Corvette I've ever seen. And somebody had the guts to cut it in half. 1953, cut into half. And here it's Singa Porsche. Beautiful pieces of artwork. The attention to detail on these things is just amazing. I mean, look at these fence. It's got plexi glass with holes in it. The engine bay has leather covering to it. Pure cap under the hood. Manual adjustable mirrors. Over here we have the James Bond car. Here's a BMW M1, really cool design. What's also interesting that this is one of the only the BMWs I know with like two BMW badges. Don <laughs> from Birmingham, Alabama. One here, one there. 
And another unique thing about this M1 is that it was designed by the Italians and it's also mid-engine. So it's one of a kind BMW. Over here we have just line of Porsche, race car Porsche lined up. Absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite cars of all time is McLaren F1 of M. And next to the McLaren F1 LM is the McLaren 720 that literally just came out and it's here at the Amiri Island. And this is probably one of the craziest looking, uniquest cars I have seen at any car show. It did 267 miles per hour in 87. Thank you, Bill. So the new route. Winner of Pens oil. So I was just interviewed by Pennzoil to talk a little bit about brand awareness. And now Parker is on camera talking about it. <laughs> My first time here and I'm pretty blown away by how awesome it is. I've been told that it's Yes sir. What do you think of BAFDs? <laughs> the interview's over. I actually respect that. Uh, yeah, no, you can keep can recording. Yeah, okay. you can record it. Yeah, you can record it. I'm just being funny. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I actually respect it. It's it's obvious. It's obvious that it's you know more reliable. I mean, my daily driver's an LS. So, uh, you know. That's true, the CTSP, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you gotta admit it. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, Rory definitely has uh, more cat to it. Yes. It's a you know, well, you know, it's, it's yeah, the name of the car, Rotary Experiment, or however you wanna, you wanna say the acronym of the name. It, you know, it's like its heart was supposed to be rotary, and that—that's—that's that's where I'm like, you know what? You can put an LS in anything. Why not? Just keep this one. Just get let's keep, keep these guys safe. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So I have a rotary one that will never be swapped. Good, good. The good, one good. I got it was actually already half fast swapped, so I don't feel as bad for yeah. going all out on it. That's it, guys. That's this is what Rob yeah, thinks you get about. The official answer. That's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now there's a lot of cars here at. Amazing Island Concourse and all of them has been amazing but here are some oh of my, my absolute Look favorites out. JDM classic race Spectators cars Earth. Here is a beautiful Datsun 510 I would love to get one of these but it's been very hard finding myself a 510 but I would love to pick up one of these some days and build it up just like this Such a beautiful car Got the fuel cell in the rear Got the race Sold car looking going free case I love this and this Don is why you definitely don't see every day. It's a 2000 GT race car. I love the vintage Japanese Toyota emblem there. Very nice. And it has turned into a race car. I've seen the stock ones, but race cars I've never seen before. So this is definitely one of a kind. Speaking of owned by Rick Grant. <laughs> Over here, just a whole bunch of classic Datsuns. Got here a 240Z. Three Ks, no passenger seat, because race car. This thing is amazing. Bob Sharp Racing. Wow, look at that. This is the first 240Z brought to the US. The number one. Another beautiful 510. That is possibly the cleanest 240Z engine bay I've ever seen in my life. Ceramic coated exhaust. Here is a beautiful Datsun 2000 that's been turned into race car. I would love to just keep this one stock and cruise around. What a beautiful car. I'm now at the BMW booth and these are all these race cars and classic cars. But what I really like is this M5. This is probably the cleanest M5 I've ever seen in my life. And I heard it has only 20,000 miles. It must be worth like 150 grand or at least 100 grand. And over here we have the real race cars and I think one of your favorites and the one Rob Dom is drooling over is the 787B quad rotor. What do you think about this Rob? I'm in love man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 
Do you know anything about the motor in here? I, I know a little bit about the motor. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, I've, read, I've Googled some and Wikipedia some about this car. <laughs> I haven't lived and breathed it or, you know, obsessed about it. Yeah. Alright, so I'm here at the Pennzoil booth now, so let's talk about some of the oil. Um, Pennzoil makes oil no matter what car you have. So you have your vintage cars, classic cars, you have your modern day Ferraris, high performance race cars. They have offering for you. When you think of engine oil, you think of crude oil that gets filtered and gets used as an engine oil. But in Pennzoil's case, they actually create the oil from natural gas and it's a lot cleaner. So, for example, it's like uh, getting a cup of water out of a pond and filtering it versus getting a cup of water from a tap water and then using that as a clean source. But they have better high temperature, low temperature torrents and they have a cleaner engine oil because of this reason. Penzo's oil is actually 25% cleaner than the traditional oil that you find in auto stores. So that means you have less carbon deposit buildup in your engine, so the engine will last a lot longer. So some of you might know him, but here is... Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> well, we're Hello, live. We're live. Everybody's here. This is the most epic roll out ever. Everybody's rolling out now. The car meets over and it smells amazing, sounds amazing. Check this out. It's a bus pump. It's a wheel. I'm gonna go live on YouTube. Dead? Okay. Or oh, maybe it's the gear ratio, it doesn't allow him to crawl out of the dirt. Oh, a huge turbo. Yeah. Is that a motorcycle? Oh yeah, NSX is just chilling in the queue over there in traffic jam. But uh, hold on, let me check the camera again. Leaf scraper. Hudson 510 race car, one of my favorites of the show today. That's a beautiful car with a lot of history. I really do wish this photo was running right now. Martini golf cart. O37 Rosewood. That's boss. Wow. 